Hello, friends. Oh my goodness, friends. I'm so sorry I couldn't make Facebook Live today, but guess what? I got something better for you. I am out here at Bryson's Apple Orchard, and we are gonna pick apples today. Yee! Will you join me? Come on. We still start our story time the same, even in the apple orchard. Let's begin with our hello song. It goes like this. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Our first book today is Amelia Bedelia's First Apple Pie. I mean, how can we be out here in the apple orchard and not read about apple pie? Do you like apple pie? I know I sure do. Let's see what happens. Amelia Bedelia's First Apple Pie by Herman Parrish. Amelia Bedelia was visiting her grandparents. It was a glorious autumn afternoon, the perfect day to rake leaves into piles and run around the yard. Fall is in the air, said Grandad. Grandad and Amelia Bedelia looked up. So are the birds, said Amelia Bedelia. V, W, what are they trying to spell? Just then, Amelia Bedelia's grandma came outside. Quick, said Grandad, look busy. But it was too late. Hey, lazy bones, Grandma said jokingly. If you're going to just stand around, I've got a job for you. What do you need, Granddad asked. Apples, said Grandma. I made pie dough. If you get some apples, I can teach Amelia Bedelia how to make an apple pie. Grandma's apple pie was Amelia Bedelia's favorite. Hooray, she yelled. Race you to the car. She started to run, but tripped over a branch and landed right in a pile of leaves. Whoosh! How was your trip? asked Grandad as he helped her up. Fun, she said. Fall is in the air and on the ground, too. Grandad smiled and said, watch your step. Amelia Bedelia tried to watch her steps, but it made her dizzy to look down at her feet all the time. Amelia Bedelia and Grandad were already in the car when Grandma called out, be sure to pick up Granny Smith. Who's Granny Smith? Is she helping us make the pie? Amelia Bedelia asked. You bet, Grandad said. We couldn't do it without her. Amelia Bedelia and Grandad drove out into the country. Your supermarket is far away, said Amelia Bedelia. We aren't going to the supermarket, said Grandad. We'll get our apples at the farmer's market. What? asked Amelia Bedelia. Do we need to buy a farmer? No, said Grandad, laughing. Their apples are much fresher. Apples are good for me, right? asked Amelia Bedelia. Oh, yes, said Grandad. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. They're good for your teeth, too. Folks call them nature's toothbrush. Hey, Grandad, said Amelia Bedelia. If I eat an apple a day, I won't have to go to the doctor or dentist ever again? Grandad smiled. I wish it worked that way, Pumpkin, he said. Grandad picked up the bright green apple, polished it on his jacket, and tossed it to Amelia Bedelia. Nice catch, he said. Meet Granny Smith. Amelia Bedelia took a loud, crunchy bite. Granny is yummy, she said. Bushel baskets overflowed with red, yellow, orange, pink, and green apples. Some apples wore stripes or spots or splotches. The color reminded Amelia Bedelia of autumn. While Granddad chose apples to buy, Amelia Bedelia read the names out loud. One kind was called delicious but they all look tasty to her. Story time out. <laughs> look at these awesome apples. Did you know that the heaviest apple ever weighed was three pounds? Pretty cool. Did you also know that the apple is actually part of the rose family? they smell and taste so good. Did you know that most of the fiber from apples are actually in their skin? So don't peel your apples. That was some fun facts. Mmm, now back to the stories. When they got home, Grandma went right to work, coring and peeling the apples. Amelia Bedelia measured the peels to see which one was the longest. Grandma cut each apple into two pieces 
then into four pieces, and then into eight pieces. Finally, she sprinkled sugar and cinnamon onto the slices. Next, Grandma pulled out all of her pie pans, hunting for just the right one. Amelia Bedelia found a tiny pan. Is this a toy? she asked. No, said Grandma, that is a real pie pan. It's just really small. Ah, here's the one I want. Now please get me a little flower, Sugar Plum. Amelia Bedelia spied a small flower on the windowsill, and she picked it. Here you go, Grandma, she said. Thanks, sweetie, said Grandma. And then she showed Amelia Bedelia where she kept the flour she used for baking. Grandma rolled out the dough. It got flatter and thinner. It got rounder and bigger. Grandma said, careful, watch your fingers. Amelia Bedelia took her hands off the table. She washed her fingers very carefully. They looked pretty boring. She wondered why she had to do this to make an apple pie. Now we need a sprinkle of flour, said Grandma. Amelia Bedelia reached into the sack of flour, grabbed a handful, and sprinkled it all out over their heads. Grandma laughed, not on us, she said, on the dough. Amelia Bedelia sprinkled some on the dough, too. At last, said Grandma, we're ready to put the pie together. And that's exactly what Grandma and Amelia Bedelia did. Then Grandma popped the pie into the oven, set the timer, and started to clean up the kitchen. That's when Amelia Bedelia had an idea. She took the leftover dough and rolled out two small circles. She put one in the little pie pan, filled it with the extra apples, and plopped the other circle on top. Then she crimped the edges all around. A smidgen of dough was left, so she made a little flower, a tiny daisy, to decorate the top. Your mom and dad will be here soon, said Grandma. Then we'll have a pie party. Yippee, said Amelia Bedelia. Granddad heard the commotion and came into the kitchen. What are we celebrating, he said. Honey, said Grandma. Amelia Bedelia made her first apple pie. After Grandma took her pie out of the oven, Amelia Bedelia carefully and secretly slid hers in. I'm going to set this outside to cool, said Grandma. It was time to get ready for the party. Grandma hummed as she set the table. Soon Grandad was whistling the same tune. Outside, the birds were chirping and tweeting and singing like mad. Listen, said Amelia Bedelia. It sounds like the birds are having a party too. My pie, exclaimed Grandma. They all ran outside. The pie was covered with birds. Scram, hollered Grandma. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Chirp, 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 chirp. Amelia Bedelia took off her shoe and handed it to Grandma. But it was too late. Our pie, said Amelia Bedelia. Gone, said Grandma. Just then, Amelia Bedelia's parents arrived. Amelia Bedelia's dad stared at the empty pie pan. Gee, he said, couldn't you have waited for us? The birds ate our pie, said Amelia Bedelia. What birds, asked her mom. I think they were swallows, said Grandad. They sure were, said Amelia Bedelia. They swallowed the whole thing. Well, sweetheart, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Let's imagine how good it would have tasted while we eat our ice cream. The whole family tried to enjoy the ice cream and not think about the pie, but that was impossible. We made the best pie, said Amelia Bedelia. It was a thing of beauty, said Grandma. It would have been delicious, said Grandad. It was the perfect pie, said Amelia Bedelia. Her lower lip trembled. She let out a <laughs> sob. You know, said Amelia Bedelia's father, just hearing you talk about that pie makes me think I can smell fresh baked pie coming out of the oven. My pie, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. They raced to the kitchen. Grandma took the tiny pie out of the oven and set it on the table. There it was, bubbling hot and baked to perfection. They all gathered around and gazed at it as though it were a brand new baby. It's absolutely perfect, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Just like Grandma, said Grandad. Only smaller, said Amelia Bedelia. And you made it all by yourself, said Grandma. This time, said Amelia Bedelia's father, let's let the pie cool down in the house. But no one could wait. Grandma cut tiny pieces for everyone. She took one bite and declared, this is the best apple pie I have ever tasted. Amelia Bedelia's smile was so big that it was hard for her to eat. Thank you, Grandma, she said, and thank you, Granny. Granny who, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Granny Smith, said Amelia Bedelia.
She made all of our apples in the first place. Okay, now let's go ahead and sing our first song today. And it goes like this. Everybody stand up. Come on, let's do it together. Way up high in the apple tree, five little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came an apple. That's good. How many apples are left? Four. Way up high in the apple tree, four little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came an apple. That's good. How many apples are left? Three. Way up high in the apple tree, three little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as I hard as I could and down came an apple. That's good. How many apples are left? Two. Nice job. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came an apple. That's good. How many apples are left? One. Way up high in the apple tree, one little apple smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came an apple. That's good. You guys, I've had so much fun reading books about apples and singing songs about apples with you today. Thank you for coming along with me out here on this beautiful fall day, but now I better get to work. So how do we end our story time? Just like we started, but with our goodbye song. And it goes like this. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, sweet friends. I gotta get to work. <laughs> All right, see ya.